Hi, I'm Robert with Lobster Sports Tech Support and in this video I'm going to go over possible reasons why your machine won't charge and what we can do to resolve the problem. The three most common reasons are 1. A dead or worn battery 2. A loose connection 3. A faulty charger jack or charger. To figure out what is causing the inability to charge, first we will check the charger. If that doesn't indicate the problem, then we will check for a loose wire. If it's not a loose wire, then we will check for a loose charger jack on the machine. Before we begin, please make sure your machine is powered off and you have a working electrical outlet. We have two types of charging connections, the basic and the fast or premium. First we will go over checking the basic charger. If you have a basic charger, plug it into a power source and then to your Elite machine. If the red low battery LED does not light up and blink, that could mean a loose wire, which I will show you how to check for in a minute, or a dead battery. If the LED goes red but never turns green, that means your battery is dead and is no longer holding a charge. You will need a new battery which you can buy on LobsterSports.com or you can send your Elite back to our factory for service. If your charger light turns red but goes green quickly and your machine only lasts for a short time on the court, that would suggest that the charger is good but that the battery is no longer holding enough charge and again you will need to purchase a new one. If you use a faster premium charger, then your charger has an LED light and we will go over what that light indicates. To test your faster premium charger, plug it into a power source. If no LED light illuminates when plugged in, then the charger is faulty. If the LED light does illuminate, plug the other end into your Elite. If the charger light goes solid red, then that means the charger is OK. But if it blinks red and green, this means the charger is faulty. A new faster premium charger can be purchased on LobsterSports.com under the Accessories category. If your charger didn't have any of these issues, next we will check for loose wires. The basic and the fast premium chargers have separate wiring, so we will go over both. The only tool you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver for each of the screws on the corners of the panel. Once the screws are removed, gently pull the paddle out and allow it to hang by the wires. First thing we're going to do is check to make sure that the battery is connected properly. If you notice a loose red wire like this one here, you're going to want to connect it to the red positive side of the battery. And make sure it comes back to the reset switch onto a splitter. If you notice a loose black wire like this one, you're going to want to connect it here to the black negative side of the battery. Also make sure it's connected to the back of the board here where it's labeled bat neg. Now let's check the basic charger wiring. If you notice this black wire is loose, you're going to want to connect it here also to where it says bat neg. If you notice the red wire is loose, you're going to want to connect that here to where it says charger positive. Now for those of you using a faster premium charger, let's look on the back of the XLR charger jack. Locate the red wire, and if you notice that that's loose, you're going to want to connect it here to the back of the reset switch onto the splitter next to the battery wire. If you notice the black wire is loose, you're going to want to connect it here to the back of the board where it's labeled bat neg on the end. If any of these wires were loose, that may have been a reason your machine was not working. So let's connect the chargers to make sure that the battery is charging. We can test this while the screws are off, so simply reposition the panel back in place and plug the charger into the port. Starting with the basic charger. If your light turned red, that's good. That means your wires are all correctly placed and your machine is charging. Now let's test the faster premium charger. Simply plug it in. Now for either machines, if your light turned red, then that means it's charging. You can replace the panel and allow it to charge until the green light comes on and turns solid. If the light goes straight to green, then chances are the battery is no longer holding a charge and needs to be replaced. 
Again, you can buy one at LobsterSports.com and replace yourself, or you can send it to us for service. If the charger light did not turn red, then we will check for a faulty charger jack. To test your basic charger jack, plug in the charger and wiggle it around to see if you can get the battery light to turn on. If it turns on briefly and then turns off, that would indicate the charger jack is faulty and will need to be replaced. You can order part number E260 or send your machine in for service. To test the XLR charger jack, simply plug in the charger and wiggle it around in all directions while keeping your eye on the LED. If you notice that the light changed to red quickly and then back to green, then the XLR charger jack will need to be replaced. Part number E886 can be ordered from our website or you can send your machine back to us for repair. Hopefully you have discovered the cause of your charging issue. If you need additional help, please give us a call at 800-526-4041 or email us at support at lobstersports.com.